Thank you, Governor. Uh, I, I've been hesitating about speaking on this bill. I'm going to vote against it. And I've been hesitating because I'm pretty bitter. And it's, even though I'm in the Senate, I don't feel very much a part of this body. Like, I don't feel like I'm heard. And likewise, I don't feel like my community, where I live, the street, the schools, I don't feel like we're heard or we're cared about down here. You know, the first day of session, we had the little 4th District Caucus. I ranked number two. Chesterfield ranks number one. But there was a motion made, and we didn't get to choose based on our rank to decide whether we wanted to go to legislative council, audit. You know, that hurt. That really hurt me. Been down here all this time, practiced 40 years plus as an attorney. I think I've added some value. I haven't sponsored a whole bunch of bills in the last several sessions, knowing that it'll probably be an exercise in futility. And maybe it's me. But like I said, I've become bitter. I've been through a lot. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of my children in my community just dismissed. I've seen them in and out of juvenile court. I've seen their parents in and out of the penitentiary. I've seen a lot of horrible stuff. And it all goes back to our kids. I only had one child. And I'm so thankful he's been able to, to grow up and despite all the efforts to deny, I think, he and his fellow students at the Dollarway School District in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, in and out of state takeover, denied them the privilege that most of the other parts of the states that are not this color. You know, I remember when I was over in the house and the president of the University of Arkansas at Fayetteville came to one of the meetings I attended and they were talking about grade inflation. Dollar ways students had inflated grades. And so the president said, they don't even consider dollar way students' grades that they had to score higher on the ACT. Now, my son, I'm very proud of. He's a graduate of Dollar Way. Graduated college at Henderson State, got his master's at Kansas State, and now is the deputy director of the Colorado Air and Spaceport. And I know many other children just like him from Dollar Way. I'm a Pine Bluff High graduate, 1971. The first year was fully integrated, but I had been over there at Woodrow Wilson, before Pine Bluff High, since the eighth grade, under the freedom of choice. Just one black child student out of seven. And it wasn't no easy thing, and maybe that contributes to my bitterness, because I can remember being pushed by some tall football player, some white guy. Every time before the teacher came in the classroom, I'm sitting at my desk at the front of the row. He'd come in there, all the kids in the seats, 
and he pushed my chair. And everybody start laughing. Ha, ha, ha. I've gotten over it. And maybe that's why I'm not so sociable. I didn't get to socialize, so I went back home and had conversation with my brothers and sisters, and thank God I had so many. But you know, I go home every day. Ever since I've been up here, my schools down there have been in and out of state control. When Governor Sanders' dad was the governor, before I was elected, Alzheimer's school district was in state takeover, 2003. And I represented this young student over there at Alzheimer. He was a disabled child, mild mental retardation, oppositional defiant disorder. He had a stutter and he had asthma. And we ended up getting eight years compensatory education because the school district didn't so doggone bad, under state control. They didn't have a clue about the Individuals with Disability Education Act. And I had to just learn it. I didn't practice in that area. But his mother insisted, I want you. You know, every day, get up here, either one of y'all, my colleagues, come up here and offer prayer, or have somebody come in and offer prayer. You know, I remember when I was in high school, before my senior year, when it was fully integrated, I wrote an essay in my humanities class in the literature part why I thought God, there was a black God and a white God. And my teacher got a very decent grade. I didn't get no A, but she said, this is disturbing in the margin. I think it's only one God. I don't think y'all understand what he is about. I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand. If you can't treat my children right down there in Pine Bluff, down in Grady, where they have no school no more, because of consolidation. Everywhere in my district, kids neglected. Y'all sit up here and write these laws, tearing up my community. You don't give up, and it ain't gonna work. Watch and see. Now what's gonna happen to my district down there, Pine Bluff, that's still under state takeover. Annex with Dollarway, that was under state takeover last for five years. Didn't get any better. Pine Bluff's not getting any better. Secretary Key come putting the doggone superintendent down there, had no experience. And I told him, that lady was not qualified. Everything I say, it's like on deaf ears up here. Sooner or later, you'll hear, because it ain't just going to be contained in my community. It'll be in yours. And may God help you. Thanks, Senator. If there are no others speaking for.